Hey guys, so I'm back here um, with my drill press and the uh, the coolant modification system uh, that I that I created, and uh, this is just dripping because I bumped it. This isn't on yet. Um, anyway, this is a uh, Porter Cable 15-inch uh, floor-standing model drill press that has uh, 15 speeds, I believe, or 12, 12 speeds. Um, and uh, this is a Harbor Freight. Um, part of a, uh, a drill set from Harbor Freight that's been quite weak in terms of its rely uh, in terms of its endurance uh, using it repeatedly has proven to uh, to wear them out quite quickly unless I douse the thing with oil constantly while, while drilling steel <clears throat> and uh, that 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 prompted me a, a cheap drill set a cheap drill bit set prompted this whole project kind of I mean I have some decent drills too but uh, they also need oil I mean you have to you have to put oil down so when you're cutting, cut, or, uh, drilling hard steel. So anyway, I got a new pump in here because uh, I don't know if anyone remembers, but uh, or if anyone's following this at all, actually. But uh, what I found was the pump that I had been using for my bandsaw uh, cooling system was a little bit too weak with like a five foot or a four foot lift uh, in terms of displacing the fluid. So I ordered a new pump, and I'll throw the part number uh, in the description of this video. Uh, from Amazon for 19 bucks, Amazon Prime. It got great reviews. I think it's li li listed at like six or 16 gallons per hour at six feet of lift, um, and something like 100 or something at like five feet or four feet. So it flows a uh, a lot of uh, coolant. But uh, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I have it just hooked up to a power strip right now. Uh, my drill press is in the same power strip, so everything's off right now. So it's real quiet, you can't even hear it run, but you'll see a lot more coolant flows out. Um, that's perfect. That's actually almost too much coolant. I, I considered putting a different nozzle on, but the nice thing is I put this valve right here, I don't know if you can see, right off the screen, right there. Um, I put a valve in line so that I could turn the coolant flow down. Um, I, I like to run it just, the, just about there. Um, the nice thing about it is... Uh, Fire it up. And uh, it aids in cooling, or it aids in drilling big time. Um, this is a, uh, I think this might be either 1018, actually I think it's, I think it might be uh, A36 or whatever, tool steel. So that's a that's a hard steel, and uh, drilling it's a pain because uh, the bit's dull without a lot of uh, fluid. And uh, again, this is a, a Harbor Freight drill bit. It's not great. It's not hardened very well. Um, I did not run it through my drill bit sharpener. I should. In fact, I will. But. Uh, you can see it's it's cutting really nice in this uh, coolant setup, and you're not seeing a lot of uh, heat. You're not seeing a lot of bubbling. Um, the the drill bit I just drilled a whole bunch of holes. The drill bit's cool to touch, um, and that's going to preserve the uh, the finish on the uh, cutting tips there, the cutting edge. So uh, that's with a new pump. Um, I have the pump screened. I ended up wrapping the pump in uh, some filter. Uh, some filter cotton. It's like a. I use it for um, my my parts cleaner. I bought it from McMaster Car. I think it's like a hundred micron uh, fiber, white fiber uh, felt that's made for filtering. So I just wrapped a strip around the pump. The nice thing about this twenty dollar pump is that it uh, it has a, a common singular area that picks up the uh, the water, uh, and it's not on the bottom of the pump. It's on the side. So heavy metal that gets down into the into the, the coolant tank here um, shouldn't be sucked up a because the pickups on the side about an inch and a half off the bottom of the pump and b um, because of that I'm able to wrap the pump in the uh, the filter mesh um, and I guess I could uh, I'll show you the pump setup real quick. All right, so this is the bucket below that I have the uh, pump in. Nothing fancy about it. It's running right now. And you 
can't even hear it. You can see the drains working. But I keep it low enough that it doesn't splash. And the pump, I'm just gonna pop it out just for a split second. And that's for some light drag. It's just racked up in that in that material there. And so that's proved to uh, to filter out everything for the most part. You know, anything smaller than what that, that mesh material uh, lets through is insignificant because uh, I don't know if anyone's taken apart a, a pond pump like that before, but um, the, 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 it's magnetic pump. So the shaft has a magnet on it and the, uh, the motor has a magnet and uh, nothing actually interfaces mechanically to turn it. Um, the magnetic field rotates the shaft or the pump. At least on most, I have not taken that one apart yet. But um, so, so really, really, really small bits of uh, material, dirt, uh, metal, whatever, can pass through the pump. The impeller doesn't uh, have any friction fit or like press fit or anything like that. So it'll just pump crap. And since the tube is a uh, quarter-inch uh, ID, it, it, it'll pump some sediment um, if, it, if it got in there. So uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna run this uh, drill bit through the drill doctor that everyone says doesn't work and uh, see how it improves the cut now that I've got coolant on it. Because I was making the point the other day and drilling with this drill bit um, without coolant and uh, I suspect it can cut a lot better than it can now because uh, I've really dulled it. So let's check it out. I just drilled, I just used the drill doctor on this bit and I can feel a difference significantly uh, with my fingertip. This is a 118 degree drill bit by the way, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Um, I did not split the point. It's just your standard uh, 18, and uh, let's see how it does now. probably tell but I'm not having to push nearly as hard on this drill bit but the most important part to me is going to be uh, stopping it and uh, yeah, it still has its edge it's nice and sharp that's what that's what counts to me because I was dulling this actually I, I wish I took a photo because uh, this drill bit before I sharpened it had a uh, a weird scalloped uh, edge to it from probably from forcing it into the metal wore the point down but now it's uh it's pretty awesome try splitting the point and see if that makes any difference either all right so i just uh <clears throat> split this point <clears throat> and i may have over split the point because i was just trying to be exaggerated with it but we'll see That cuts a lot, a lot faster. Well, I mean, with a lot less effort than that. I know you guys can't tell, and my hand might even be in the way, but I'm not having to put nearly as much uh, pressure to cut this eighth inch, uh, this eighth inch uh, A36, I think it is. So, uh, you can see I've drilled all these holes with this drill bit, and uh, got a little chip stuck in. I drilled all these holes and no issue. It's a Harbor Freight bit, so I don't know. I think the coolant does uh, help a lot, um, especially when cutting something like uh, aluminum. I do a lot of aluminum work, and uh, I'll cut like a I drill a hole, a half inch hole through like an inch thick piece of aluminum to make a bracket or something and uh, the coolant has seemed to work really well with that. So anyway, again this is like a $50 coolant setup and uh, this new pump you can see, I don't know if you, know, if you compare it to my other video, you'll see that uh, the coolant flow is much improved and if you wanted to, you could even get more flow out of it. 
because I have uh, the cover on the pump, like I mentioned earlier, partly uh, closing off the, uh, the inlet of the pump to keep the flow down. Because uh, at full blast it was kind of intense and I had to, <laughs> I had to keep, try and keep the coolant on the table. <laughs> um, and again, one other thing is with it flowing like this down the center hole, I'm okay. But if I were to now with this, with this higher flow uh, coolant setup, pump it down into one of these grates, um, my single um, 3 8 MPT drain, although it works, I do start to get um, a slightly high coolant level over on this side of the table. It's not, you know, it's not overflowing or anything, but it uh, it's getting up there. And so, if you were cutting something where the, the majority of your coolant was going down the uh, the side area of this table, you might consider either drilling that out to one half MPT, um, which makes sense because it's stepped down quite a bit for a, for what it is now. But since uh, you really don't, you know, you're gonna run probably like a half inch drain hose from it, um, you might also consider adding a second uh, table drain, maybe on this edge here, um, or maybe that back edge. I don't know. You have to decide. But um, just to uh, drain the table better. But again, I'm running it full blast and dumping it right into this uh, this this area here, and no uh, no amount of it's really going down the center hole, and uh, it's it's not flooding over. And you'll see too when I turn it off. Um, watch this level there. You know, it goes down really quick. Anyway, sorry to make a long boring video again, but I figured uh, somebody out there might actually find this uh, $50 or so uh, coolant pump for their drill press uh, quite useful. Alright, see ya.